Look around. Do you feel it? It's in the air. It's just Michigan did a thing that we haven't done since 1997. That is win it all, a national championship. I'm not off the high and I will not be. Apparently I got a little too excited. I am so sorry, Steph. I'm gonna set him off to the side right here because again, I may be moving around a lot because we won the national championship 15 and no hardball. Listen, who's got it better than us? Absolutely, positively nobody. If you didn't believe in us, you know exactly what you can do. I am just, oh, this is a feeling we've waited for for so long. We've survived so many different things. Now I won't harp on this because unfortunately when I do videos with any extensive talk about sports, they don't tend to do really well. And I would appreciate you guys tuning in like you have for recent vids. I really appreciate that. Like the things we should leave behind in 2023. There are eight of them specifically, but please be sure to add to that list on that video in the comment section. And then also, it, it's, it can't be just me that would like us to not pick sneaker of the year before we have even crossed the second weekend within the year. That's the energy people are coming with in 2024. I don't really care for it, but here we are. And again, Stanley Cups are all the rave, but be quiet because you probably still have dead stock sneakers from 2021. That being said, let's talk about accountability and just some self-reflection, just just an outlook on life, okay? And this is not, this is not about judgment because one, I've had these very hard, difficult conversations with myself. I wish I had them sooner in my earlier 20s. So if you're watching this and you're in your earlier 20s, do better than me. I say this in so many videos. I don't care what it may be, what lane, what area of life. I don't care if it's um, being a creator. Maybe it's within fitness and just your life in general. Be better than I was in my early 20s, okay? Because... I didn't really have it all together as much as I could have and you live and learn. You live and you learn and to be truthful, it's probably making those mistakes and stumbling along. Maybe you'll connect a little bit better. Maybe you'll try to avoid those mistakes sooner than myself. So I just wanna pose a question to you super fast. We'll get out of here. Are you somebody that has, I don't know, 100, 200, 300 pairs of sneakers? It happens sooner than you think, okay? If you collect and you own one to two, 300 pairs of sneakers, okay? Let's take your house out of it. If you are a homeowner, let's take your home out of it, okay? Mortgage home, let's take, let's remove that. I wanna make this as fair as possible. Do you have a negative net worth? And what I mean by that, if we were to total up all of your assets, okay? The things you own, not the things you still owe money on, which would be like a car. If you have a car note, that does not count as an asset to you until you were to sell it. And, as long as you're not upside down in it, then you may have a profit at the end. But let's look at the assets, okay? That means cash accounts, okay? That you have in your name. That can be retirement. That can be a savings account, health savings account, savings that are in just, I don't know, laying around the house, immediate cash, okay? <laughs> let's take a look at your assets. That can be valuables as well that have been appraised. But let's take a look at your assets versus your debts or your liabilities. Those are the things that you owe on. That's why I said, let's remove your mortgage. That's like a long-term investment. And as long as you did it smartly, then hey, not a problem. Great long-term investment. But we're take, we'll take a look at your credit card debt, any car loans that you have out, student loan debt, it, it counts. I don't like that I have it. And we'll talk about that this year, this month, very soon, maybe this week, I don't know. Any debts that you have to your name, okay? So when you're looking at your net worth, we take your assets, we subtract your liabilities, and we get what you're actually worth on paper. And is it negative? It may be a shock to you to do the math and you see that number isn't positive. It's, it's in the red. Like you don't have a positive net worth. Now, a lot of young adults will start out with a negative net worth. Why? Because a lot of us took on student loans and society, our parents, everyone told us that was just the way to go. There were so many things that were working against us, okay? And your brain is not even fully formed before you were 25. So if you are not someone, if you don't have a positive net worth, right? You have a negative net worth. I think it's time to kind of look in the mirror and... I guess have that conversation with yourself. What am I doing to put myself in a better financial situation, okay? I love sneakers just like you love sneakers, okay? And there was a time where I was chasing them 
heavily and adding to the collection with any and everything I may have wanted. Why? Because I was in a position to then afford it. And if you're like me, you possibly grew up where it was like, hey, you got a few pairs of shoes a year and you also needed to take care of them. Now that I'm an adult, I understand that my parents were just being extremely smart with their money and they had real life to take care of, not just funding every single shoe that I may or may not have wanted. I have storage closets full of shoes, okay? The closet, walk-in closet, storage rooms, tons of pairs, right? But what does it serve you unless you're willing to liquidate those pairs if an emergency happens and you can't take care of it? Why? Because you're already deep in debt and you really don't have cash on hand. So if something were to happen, guess what? You now need to go further into debt on a credit card to be able to take care of that emergency. So now you're even more in the red. You have a worse net worth and it's just not where you want to be. So just, just, just ask yourself, hey, I have hundreds of pairs of sneakers, but I have a negative net worth excluding a home. What am I doing? Pulling back a little bit on one thing, which would be your expenditures and what you're adding to the collection and putting a little bit more extra towards paying down any debts that you have in your name, that starts to move the needle in the right direction, to move you towards a positive net worth. And again, I want everyone to be able to experience that, and these are things that just aren't talked about a whole lot. It's not just within sneakers, it's just two young adults in general, young, old, doesn't matter. It's not really something that's discussed enough in schools or in communities, and we know why. It pays big business and banks for you to stay ignorant of that information, because they continue to make money off of you via interest. So all I would say, look around, how many sneakers do you have, right? If you really cro cross that hundred count threshold, take a look at your finances. Do you have a positive net worth? If you do continue to build on that, clearly you have some positive habits that you're already um, executing on a day-to-day -day basis with your money. Continue to build on that. I love that for you. But if you don't, I would say take a look at how you can put a better plan into place. That's a budget, that's setting up automatic withdrawals for savings, for investing, and then being a little bit more diligent and intentional and in paying on those debts that you have. I intend to do the same this year. I know I said I would not. Again, I guess I lied to myself and we will have that discussion, but negative net worth, Rooms and rooms full of shoes. I just don't know if that's the move, especially if you are looking to be an accountable and responsible adult. And if you have kids, that's just like a totally different lane because I am sure you want to help set them up for the best future they could possibly have. And that takes a lot of intention. All right. So just the question I'm posing to you, if I have hundreds of pairs of shoes and a negative net worth, what does that say about my intention in building a stable financial future for myself? Can I do better? I should do better. And hopefully you do. So I have tons of different videos in relation to budgeting on the budgeting playlist here that is below or I'll make sure that it's below. We'll continue to have these talks throughout the year and I will continue to smile ear to ear because Michigan won it all finally in the national championship. Yes, I have championship items on the way. I have a Rose Bowl hat on the way. I have two championship hats on the way. I have a shirt on the way. I need to double back for things. I was calm, okay? I calmed myself. I didn't buy it all right now. I definitely intend to buy so much more. So again, I thank you guys for tuning into this video. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.